for you to get the most out of your experience of playing your djembe, you're going to want to be able to produce nice, distinct sounds, okay? The three main sounds are the bass, the tone, and the slap, and you want them to be nice and clear. If the sounds are clear, then the djembe is going to speak well. If the sounds are clear, then the music will be clear, okay? So how do we go about getting good sounds from our djembe? First of all, we need to be in the right position. You have your djembe in front of you, tilted forwards a little bit so that the mouth of the djembe is open and the sound can come out. When I talk about the mouth, I'm talking about the bottom of the djembe. Okay, so slight angle, secured with your legs, or if you like, a belt. You're sitting up straight so you can breathe properly, so you can be engaged totally. And see how my arms are in a bit of a semicircle, like that. They're not close to my body, and they're not out too far like that either. Just a nice, relaxed position. From there, we're going to make the bass, the tone, and the slap sounds. Let's have a look first at the bass. The bass comes from the middle of the drum. So we're going to bounce our hands, nice relaxed hand, bounce our hands in the middle of the drum like this. We get the low sound. That's the bass. There you have the bass. Now, tones. Tones are made on the side of the drum. So this time, we've got plenty of hand on the drum. Take note of that. You don't want to be playing too much on the edge like this. So plenty of hand. I'm making contact with the edge of the drum round about here, underneath those knuckles. Okay, so here I am. One hand, two hands. Now my hands aren't rigid. There's a slight, they're relaxed, slight curve in them like you're holding a, a balloon, like that. My fingers are together and my hands are relaxed. Let's make a tone. Again. See how my thumbs are out of the way? Slightly up, not pressed next to my fingers like that. So thumbs out of the way, nice, relaxed. All this part of your hand should be making contact with the skin, okay? There's the tone. Now, for the slap, we're going to be in the same position, but we're going to separate our fingers just a bit like that and get the nice high sound of the slap. Listen. Hear that? Other hand. Okay, let's try doing two basses, two tones, and two slaps. It's a good exercise. Bass, bass, tone, tone, slap, slap, rest. Bass, bass, tone, tone, slap, slap.
So you can make your own exercises that'll help you to practice your tones and your slaps and your basses. Here's some favourites of mine. can make them up. Okay, so now you know how to play a good bass, tone and slap. Take your time developing your technique. It won't happen overnight. It needs a little bit of time. Just practice. Practice slowly. Don't rush your practice. And also spend a lot more time on your weaker hand. I'm right-handed. I have to do a lot more work on my left hand to get good sounds. Okay, so just accept that, that's part of it. Couple of tips. Use the same amount of energy on your basses, your tones and your slaps. Don't feel you have to slam the djembe to get the slap sound. If you're doing that, you're doing it wrong. Okay, and you don't need to hurt yourself either. Oftentimes people will play a little bit too much in that direction, so like pushing the djembe and you hurt yourself there. So make sure you're coming down onto the skin like that, not okay, that hurts. Okay, so have fun with developing your technique, enjoy your djembe playing. Your djembe will have lovely sweet spots that will give you just the right sounds if you use the right technique. You may learn different technique tips from other teachers, that's fine. There's more than one way to get a good sound from your djembe. Find a technique that works for you. The main thing is that we get good sounds because good sounds will result in good music and good music is much more fun to play and much more fun to listen to. <laughs>